Well, shifting focus now to Meghalaya, the Confederation of Meghalaya Social Organization or COMSO, a pressure group which is among the ones spearheading the inner line permit movement in the state, uh, staged a demonstration in Shillong today, setting the tone for a series of protests. The COMSO also called on Governor Satyapal Malik on the issue and uh, they apparently uh, were satisfied with the meeting uh, with the governor who assured them to take up the issue once again with the center. In fact, the governor, along with the chief minister, may visit New Delhi again ne anytime next week or later than that and uh, will uh, yet again take up the issue uh, with, uh, with uh, the government of India. Uh, to throw more light on this, I'm being joined uh, from Shillong by Comso General Secretary Roy Cooper Sindram. Welcome, uh, Mr. Sindram. Uh, give, uh, well, you had a, a detailed discussion with the governor, Mr. Satipal Malik, today. There was also a demonstration you seem quite satisfied with the assurance of the governor. Uh, is, 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 is he going to Delhi next week? So also the CM, what did he tell you? Uh, governor today, it was a very positive discussion. We have a pricing of the need of the indigenous people regarding the implementation of ILP. And during the discussion, he has assured us that the governor of Meghalaya is with the people of the state. And he has also assured us that in the next few days, he'll be accompanying Chief Minister of Meghalaya to Delhi to meet the Union Home Minister and impressed upon him that the people of the state need uh, ILP as soon as possible. So the discussion was very uh, positive and we are hopeful that uh, with this meeting with the Union Home Minister uh, in uh, in which the chief minister of the state as well as state, uh, the governor of the state uh, will have this, uh, a meeting with the union of minister. We hope that something uh, positive come out of that uh, meeting. Absolutely. Uh, well, as you uh, mentioned yourself that the meeting, the, the, you were satisfied with the governor's assurance. Uh, uh, can we see, I mean, uh, will the protests continue or can we see a temporary uh, haters as far as the protests are concerned? No, uh, the protests will not stop. We have made it very clear right after, as soon as we came out of the meeting. Uh, we are not we are not 100% sure. Like whether that meeting between the, the governor as well as the chief minister with the union home minister, what will be the outcome of that meeting? We are not, we are not sure as yet. So the protests will continue. The mode, the modalities of what kind of agitation that we will be taking in the next few days, uh, the council will be held, will hold its meeting in the next uh, next week, sometime next week, after discussing with all the leaders, uh, both from Khasijanki as well as from Garuville. In that meeting, we'll take a decision as to what kind of agitation we'll be proceeding ahead with. But it is sure that as, until and unless ILP is implemented in the state, council with all its members uh, will continue with the agitation. Absolutely. We'll try to fix the video line there, but uh, Roy Cooper syndrome can still hear us. Uh, the governor also also assured uh, uh, you to look into the MRSA, um, the Meghalaya Residence uh, Safety and Security Act once again. Was that also reassuring uh, from Mr. Satipal Malik? Yes, yes. Uh, even uh, regarding the MRSA, we had a very discussion with him. He had informed us about the, uh, the legalities, uh, the difficulties. Uh, that had prevented him from uh, giving the assent to the bill because that bill was passed during the tenure of the last uh, governor and the last governor has uh, kept the file and has given some noting which needs to be looked into uh, uh, keeping in mind the legalities of the bill. So he has assured us that as soon as he take a look into it and if it is found that, that the MRSA is, is for the protection of the indigenous people of the state, he'll surely be of an assent to the bill. And you had a meeting with Chief Minister Conrad Sangma also yesterday on the issue of ILP. Uh, Chief Minister Sangma has clearly told the Comso delegation that uh, implementation or go ahead from the center may take some time. Again, the government has also assured that the entry and exit points uh, would come out soon, uh, would come up soon, probably even before Christmas uh, this year. So. Uh, from your part, it's it's the government has made it amply clear that it would require some time. So why continue with the protest since the government has taken note of your demands? Yes, uh, during the meeting yesterday with the chief minister, he has assured us that 
from his side, from the government side, they are trying their level best to you know, impress upon the union home minister that we need ILT. But as we, are, we were saying that it's been one year that the centre is uh, still examining uh, the ILT resolution that was passed by the state government. The people of the state, the indigenous people, they, they require ILT as soon as possible. Uh, yes, regarding the ancient exit point, uh, we have time and again escaped it. With the commencement or with the implementation of ILP, it will be needed. People before entering, they'll have to enter through the entry and exit uh, entry point, and after leaving the state, they'll have to uh, go through the exit point. But the problem is, this entry and exit point will not be uh, a law. Will will not have any the mandate of any law because as of now, the MRSSA does not provide uh, does not have any provision which requires a person to register or, you know, to and to register with the state. So we need a law that will require any person, any visitor to, to visit the state, they should register themselves with the state government. So that, you know, as we're saying that the protection of the indigenous people are kept, you know, they, they, are, they are there. My, my last question to you. So should you assume the Comso is gearing up for protests through Christmas and New Year? Uh, see, uh, with the situation that we are in now, uh, COVID-19, we have uh, the whole country is suffering because of it, not only uh, in, the, in the rest of India, but even in our state also, the people have been suffering for the last eight, nine months. So any kind of agitation, we, are, we, we will make sure that it does not affect the livelihood of the people. So agitation will continue. The modalities, what kind of agitation, that will be decided by Comso meeting. But it is sure that agitation will continue. But let's see, uh, for Christmas, we have to uh, we have to honor the the, the, the Christmas uh, for the for the faithful of Christians in the state as well as New Year. But for the rest of the the days, uh, Comso will uh, announce its agitation. Thank you, thank you so much, Roy Cooper Sindram, for joining us on Bottom Line and giving us all that information. That was Roy Cooper Sindram, uh, General Secretary Comso, one of the pressure groups spearheading the movement, ILP movement in Meghalaya. Well, the protest will continue despite the assurance from the CM and the Governor, but. Uh, the, the, the Comso is satisfied with the actions of the governor, the Meghalaya government. The Meghalaya governor may take up the issue once again with the center next week. That's a wrap of Bottom Line.